guys, it's Deb with Deb's Cool Finds. I'm so glad that you uh, chose to watch my video today. So thank you very much. And um, if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, you know, I love you and appreciate you guys so much. Um, and that you continue to come back and watch and comment and everything. Uh, it's greatly appreciated uh, and never taken for granted. <laughs> and I can't believe we're like 150 away from a thousand like ah. so if you are a new person on here and you have not subscribed if you happen to enjoy the content please hit that little subscribe button down below it won't bother you with notifications unless you click that little bell notification bell and then you'll get notified when I um, upload any new content but if you don't want that then just hit the subscribe button and leave the bell alone and yeah you'll just help me out and uh, hopefully it'll help you out by being able to watch my videos. <laughs> so, um, I just got home from work, so I blew a lot of breath. Just took Miss Bella, my dog, who's there chewing on a bone. Um, I just took her out for her potty, so she's greatly appreciative, um, I'm sure. One of my coworkers uh, was like, you want to go for drinks after work for, you know, Valentine's Day? Because it's Valentine's Day while I'm filming this. Um, but I was like, no, I think my dog will explode. So I had to go home to her on the days that, you know, Monday through Thursday, we work till six o'clock. So yeah, no, um, she can't wait that long. So um, on a Friday, I wouldn't mind at 3.30, we get off, I wouldn't mind, but not on a six o'clock night. <laughs> so unless I knew ahead of time and could like say, mom and dad, could you come let Bella out or something during the day? You know, that would be the kind thing to do for my beautiful dog. Um, I wish she'd come up and join us, but she's very content there chewing out her bone. <laughs> I wanted to film today. Again, I filmed a ride to work with me. So on Valentine's Day. So that's what I uploaded on Valentine's Day. So this will come out after. But I wanted to get you some my pillows. You haven't seen my pillows. <laughs> so, um, so those are the pillows that I hauled on a previous video. That one with the puppy dog Valentine's Day one over there is so soft. It's just a wonderful pillow cover. They're just the covers. You know, you put your own pillows in them. Um, so I put my one pillow in there. And then the rectangular one it has like a more, like a rougher texture to it, uh, but still adorable. And then above it, I don't know if you can see that, I have some Dollar Tree little decorations. So after today, St. Patrick's Day, I guess. Um, and then it's weird. I figured out, well, I didn't figure out, I heard it somewhere, that there's only two weeks between St. Patrick's Day and Easter this year. So not a long Easter decoration time. So I'll be putting my decorations up. Yeah. So at work to tomorrow, I'll take down my um, Valentine's Day stuff and put up what little I got for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, anyway, I wore this ring today. Now I can show you a close up. I kind of showed you on my get dressed with me um, thing, but I'm trying to turn that ring around. Uh, but I, that's a Timu ring. So with little hearts, gorgeous. And then that's a Carnival Cruise Line ring. Um, and then I wore this one that's a Timu ring. And then we'll talk about that one in a little bit because I'll have to pause it and go get my little notes because um, I have some news on that one. A lot of you ask about this dangle ring all the time. And um, one of my amazing viewers researched it for me. Hi, baby. And uh, found a website where they're selling it because I bought it off of QVC or HSN and years ago and they don't sell it anymore. Hi. Uh, but she found it and I contacted them. And yeah, we'll talk about that a little later. So I have what you're waiting for. Big old fluffy Timu bag. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pause you for a second. I'm gonna go get that note. Um, and then I'm gonna get my tablet so I can talk to you about the products. I forgot that in my exuberance to come in here and open this bag that I want opened. So <laughs> for you, it'll be a second. So hold on a second. Oh, I just sneezed like three times. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, whew, oh, whew. Anyway, there's Miss Bella. She's joined us. Oh, I think she's leaving us. <laughs> wow, that was, a, that was a little fast little um, visit, right? So I'm looking at my orders on my tablet for you before it dies. But I'm not sure which order this is. So we're going to open it up. We're going to find out what order it is. And then I can get descriptions and stuff of the items up there. So here, here we go. 
some handy dandy little Timu cloud. It's a little cute cloud. And then you got the little button there and you got your little razor. It comes in handy. But remember, if you use it, be very careful you don't cut what's in the bag, which could easily be done depending on how overstuffed your bag is. Some of them get super stuffed. Okay, so uh, got an article of clothing shoved in here. Okay, I think I know. Oh, my nose. I'm sorry. I'm so stubby. Ah, oh, I don't know what that sneeze was from. It's weird because Bella came in. I don't know if you have dogs that do this, but that, I think it's called like reverse sneezing where they're just like, <gasps> making this weird, weird breathing noise. And she was doing that when she came in too. So maybe there's something out there that, that bothered us in our breathing. Um, okay. A nice team of bag. Yay. I guess they're doing this all the time now, which is cool. This little big of a bag for my little item, kind of a waste of plastic, but you know, whatever. All right, this is a work, where is she? Oh, she totally left us. I think she's in my room. She's in my room on my bed. <laughs> I think she'd be sick of that. She's probably there all day. Uh, anyway, this is a floral print button front blazer. Um, I got it in the, it's in a pink floral. And I originally spent $12.49, and then I got partially refunded. Don't forget your um, price adjustments. So, uh, and it won't tell me that detail, but it took me to the wrong screen. So let us go look at it. It is current, my tablet's sliding. It's currently $11.19, but it's just a different, you know, not just your plain black or white or whatever um, blazer that if I could find the top, <laughs> Be better. Um, anyway, it's just this beautiful, I think, pink floral design to it. You got just your sleeves, or just regular sleeves. You've got a nice little um, collar going on back here, down to the front. Now it said button. Where is the button? I do not see a button. Interesting. So it doesn't say button. We all read button. I don't see a buttonhole, and I don't see a button. Well, that's interesting. She doesn't have it buttoned, so maybe they did that incorrectly. So shawl color, shawl color, <laughs> long sleeve blazer for office and work or whatever. Also be adorable with jeans like the model is wearing, and I'll show you that in a second. But I just thought it was nice and different, and that's what I need for the office, you know? Gotta keep being cool. So nice and long. It's a thinnish material, um, kind of soft. You know, it's it's got to be polyester, of course, right? Ninety-seven percent polyester, three percent elastane. Um, little tiny bit of stretch to it, but not much. Um, but yeah, I think that will be adorable. It's a, it's not a super super soft, but yeah, it's not it's not a hard fabric or a rough fabric at all. So I think that's pretty. Now let me show you on the beautiful model. <laughs> and then when you see my get ready for me at work, you can see it on a normal, well, you know, kind of normal person. Me. <laughs> anyway, see, she doesn't have it buttoned, but they did say button. You can see the words of button down there. But anyway, yeah, adorable, I think. So, yay on that one. All right, sit, tablet. Sit. Sit. Okay, my dog sits better than that. Just sit. Now you turned yourself off. This tablet is acting so weird, and I hope it's not dying because I love my tablet. Um, I watch movies on it, take it on trips with me. Yeah, so I don't want to have to buy another one. Another huge bag. What is with these giant bags? I mean, come on. Look at this. Even shippers, come on. There, there's the item, and there's the bag. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, this, from looking at it, yep, it is a chic, chic, uh, their words, it's a chic hound, tooth V-neck bodycon dress in black, and I spent $8.28, but got it partially refunded. Ooh, it is now $11.97, so it went up in price. So you know how the prices just, yeah, they're crazy. So it doesn't really matter what I tell you about the prices, but it gives you an idea approximately the range that the item normally is in unless you get like a lightning deal or a 
spin the wheel or whatever. Okay. So I needed more dresses. So hopefully this will be nice on. We'll see. Okay. So it's black. It's got a V-neck. I don't know if you can see that with the black. So here's your V-neck. It's not a low V-neck. It's a nice, you know, probably comes down about here. I don't like this. I like this shirt, but I don't like the ruffle. Uh, anyways, <laughs> squirrel. Uh, long sleeves, and it's like a stretchy-ish polyester feeling, you know, um, dress. But you go all the way down, and then towards the bottom of it, you get the houndstooth print going on down here and then at the very bottom you've got a hem of black so i thought that was different you could wear it with a white blazer black blazer you could wear it with a red blazer and just pump up the color on it you know colored blazer and colored shoes i think that look really cute that's my opinion um <laughs> so let us see we know what it's gonna say right uh yeah 100 polyester but yeah it's it's Let's, I was going to see, it's kind of weird. This part feels different than this part. Isn't that weird when it's the same material, how it can feel different? This is kind of cool. Anyway, there's that. And now again, let me show you on the beautiful model who doesn't have a head. So sorry for her. She has no head. Uh, but there you go. So you see it comes down to like, I don't know, top of your hip, mid hip, somewhere, and then turns into the hound's tooth. So I think the black would be over, you know. The parts that you want hiding a little more and then get into the hound's tooth. So I thought that was really cute. I don't know, would it be like a ah, sorry, would it be like overkill if you wore like a hound's tooth blazer with it? I don't know. I think that might be cute too. But we'll see. We'll see what I decide. Okay, another clothing item. Ow! Paper cut. Ow. Was it a paper cut or no, it was a paper cut. Ow! See what I go through to bring you a Timu haul? I've been injured. Not really, it just hurt. Um, and she's in trauma, trying to keep burglars from us while we're filming. Uh, yeah, we, we go through a lot here for you guys. <laughs> Joking. Um, okay, here we have another dress. I got like, I think three dresses in this. Um, I was in a dress mood. So um, this is called an ethnic print keyhole dress. Vacation dress. Um, six ninety eight is what I paid. I did get a partial refund on it. Do your do your price adjustments. Uh, it is now six dollars and ninety eight cents. So they call it a sleeveless summer dress, vacation dress. But look at that! Come on. Um, but I like that, and then to wear a blazer or a sweater or something over it. So that you're not too, like if I wear long sleeves and a little blazer, I just get a little too warm at work. So I kind of like the comfort of the, you know, short, the no sleeves or short sleeves, even in the winter-ish. It's Dallas, so it's not Chicago winter. Um, and then even in the summer, you know, that'd be cool. You just get out of work and take off your jacket and you're fine. Um, but yeah, this is ethnic print. Let me see, where's the top? Would it help if I found the top, wouldn't it? Where's the front? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There's the front. Okay. So, I hear my neighbors upstairs. They start, they're little old people, but my gosh, do they stomp. Stomp, 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 stomp. That's all I hear is, is that. I don't hear TVs. I don't hear appliances. I don't hear anything, but I hear stomp, stomp, stomp crazy anyway um it's got a v-neck in the front so look at this print it's so pretty it's got browns and blacks and like some blue in it a little bit of red it's just really pretty it's a thin material though so be aware um but you got your front has your wait where's the front this is the front so the front has your bit of a v-neck here and then the back has that type of a back, like a T kind of back, and then it ties here in the back, so you could make that halter kind of top however you wanted it. And then the front flows down to like a crisscross in the front. I'll show you the picture to make it easier to see. Uh, there's a little bit of a gathering of elastic at your waist, and then it drops all the way down and gets darker towards the bottom. So you've got your light up here, 
and it goes down in this beautiful design down here. It's a blue on the bottom. And then look at all those beautiful colors in there. They almost, <laughs> that's weird. That was like, like screaming faces. You see that? <laughs> it's not, but you know. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. And it feels almost silky um, kind of feel to it. It's not, but not, it has that feel to it. That's what I'm saying. What they can do with polyester in different textures and stuff is amazing to me because it is 100% polyester, which I knew. Um, but anyway, yeah, this uh, this would be great in the Texas heat. This would be a nice dress. I would wear this on the cruise. I would wear this all summer, going out to dinner, whatever, shopping, farmer's market, whatever. Gorgeous. All right. Yay. I'm excited about that one too. But like I said, it is very, I was just seeing if there was a discoloration. There's not. Um, it is quite, quite light. I mean, you know, see through. Hello. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. Okay. And that's on the beautiful headless model. Looks like that. So you can see the front with that little bit of a V-neck to it. And then the back has that really cute halter type back to it. So it's adorable. I like that a lot. Yeah. Man, she is working it. So I guess in the front, do you see the V here? And then it's got the the tie part or whatever that goes, you know, right right under her neck, right there. Yeah. So, okay. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Please stop sliding. Thank you, ma'am. My tablet is a woman. Um, <laughs> I'm losing it. Um, anyway, what else was I going to tell you in here? Okay. I think I'm going to tell you something else. Looking at my little cheat notes. Okay. That's all for the other. Okay. So what's this one? Elegant floral embroidered mesh something dress. Uh, the words cut off. I paid $6.67 but did get a partial refund again. So most of these items I got a refund on. I mean, it is now up back up to $7.88. It's an elegant floral embroidered mesh splicing dress. 100% um, polyester, crew neck, cut out, easy care. All right, let's see what that means. My goodness, these bags are huge. Okay, great for storage, but now my nose is itching. Oh my goodness. I know. First world problems. Okay. <laughs> Just the whiner. Um, okay. All right. So you got your basic kind of a black address. Um, you've got that same like little v-neck with the, the string in front of it. I don't know. I'm not very good at this. But let's see. Can we do it this way? There you go. So that's how the front looks. Very see-through. So can you see my... Yeah, you can see how see-through that is. So, um, yeah, it's a very light material. Be careful what you're wearing under it. I can see you through both layers. <laughs> it's very thin. Uh, but it's just a plain dress, you know, and that's got this nice wide skirt to it with this nice little rounded bottom to it. But what I really liked was this. So the sleeves are gorgeous. They're, that's where the mesh comes in, but they have these beautiful flowers on them. Look at those. All right, and those are like, like embroidered on it. They're so soft. It's a really soft embroidery, yarn embroidery. What do they call it? I forget what it's called. It's not yarn, embroidery floss, embroidery something. Anyway, <laughs> it's really soft. Uh, the mesh is not real rough. It's, it's nice and smooth, so it won't be uncomfortable to wear. But I'm hoping that that's... That is good. And then I also just liked it for the black dress part of it. So I thought if I ever want to wear it without anything over it, the sleeves are beautiful. But um, I need just a basic black dress. So I could put this on. I could put any color blazer, sweater, whatever over it and change the look of it. Uh, the jewelry would change the look of it. Put a different kind of a belt on it or something like that. Um, different shoes, whatever, but it's just your plain, nice black dress where, yeah, I can do what I want with it. 
So that is basically the reason I bought it. I was going to buy just a plain uh, black dress, but I thought I'd get like a two-in-one there. I can cover up the sleeves, and it's just a basic black dress, or let the sleeves out, and then it's a little fancier. It would be really cute on the cruise for dinner uh, with those sleeves. But here's how she looks in it. So you see the neck with that little piece across it, and then the V-neck, and then the beautiful sleeves. And then see how the bottom, the hem is like rounded or curved. So I thought that was really cute. I know, I'm saying that a lot to me. That's really cute. I, know, I sound weird, but I am weird, so that's okay. Okay. Whatever will we find next? Oh. Oh, these look really fakey. I don't know if I'm as happy with these. Um, it's a two pack of artificial fake hanging ferns, and I wanted them. Um, my thought process was at work. Um, if you've seen my videos there, uh, I have like the desk and then there's like that little credenza cabinet over one part of my desk and I put like pictures on the top and stuff. Well, the part that faces out where somebody coming in my office would see it is just the wood side of that and I thought it would look pretty with the ferns coming down the side and I'm not real great with real plants so I thought I'd try this but I don't know if it's too fakey. I'll have to see what it looks like when I actually use it but... Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fake. -y. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's that plastic. It smells really plasticky. <coughs> <coughs> That's a great recommendation, right? Don't sniff that. Uh, <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeesh. Anyway, um, I guess there's two pieces to this. Uh, it cost me $3.39 and I got a refund, so I'm not as upset. Um, but yeah, it looks so much better in the picture. Um, they have it so full and hanging and yeah, I'll show you and you'll be like, what? Um, okay. So here's one. So even when you fluff it up, it's not going to look like that picture. So it could hang. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to leave it outside to get it to smell right. It's just a real like chemically plastic smell to it. Um, I thought. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness, I've never had this happen before, but if I had two hanging, that would be okay. Okay, go over there. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh, YouTuber dies on camera after opening Timu Plastic Plant. Holy moly. Okay, whew. I'm glad Bella's not here. She'd be sniffing that and then she'd be hacking up along. Anyway, whew, baby. There's the picture of it. Now tell me that looks like that. No, it does not. See how they decorate it with it. So, yeah, I'm not that pleased with this one. I don't know if I'm keeping this one or not. If that smell doesn't leave, I'm definitely not keeping it because that is, wow. Um, wow. They're lifelike. Um, I don't think so. <coughs> Two-pack artificial busted for... <coughs> Thank goodness I have my inhaler. Um... Artificial Boston Fern, UV resistant, durable, versatile for all room types, perfect for weddings, and low maintenance greenery solutions. I don't think so, but sorry, Timo, but that's, um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ay vey. Sorry, y'all. Oh my goodness. If you do buy that, I recommend opening it outside and leaving it out there for a while and see if it destinkifies. I mean, it's not, it's not like a, it's not like, I want to say it's not like a bad smell. It's a bad smell. Um, but it's not like a, like a nasty, like, um, you know, something's wrong with it kind of smell or musty or that kind of smell. Um, or, you know, oh, I want to move it out of here. Oh my goodness. I can still smell it. It's over there on the floor. Um, but it's just like a really strong, plastic chemical kind of smell. I've never smelled anything like that. That's, wow. <laughs> what I go through for y'all, right? <laughs> so you don't have to make the mistakes I make. Okay. <laughs> My goodness, I'm sorry. <coughs> Holy moly. Okay. Um, on to the next item. Uh, wow. Okay. Com <laughs> this is horrible. Okay. Wow. Um, 
Wow. Computer monitor memo board. I saw this um, and I just was like, that's kind of cool to put stuff at work. Um, it was $1.93. They say it's transparent. It says declutter your desk, organize notes and photos, durable plastic, home office, sticky note holder for men and women's workstations. Why would you define men and women's workstations? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Weird. I am slap happy now. Wow. How did you, you know, why were you arrested? I was high. How, how did you get high? I was snipping Timu plants. Um, anyway, so I'm high on life. Um, you take this out of this little bag. Oh my God. And then, um, wow. Okay. It comes with this little instruction, um, thing. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay. All right. And this has a film on it, so it will be transparent. Once you remove this, um, this film, so see how the film thing, and then it's just beautifully transparent. And it's this little memo board. And I guess this is magnetic. Must be. Or no, sticky. I guess it's sticky. 3M sticky. So you just stick this on, like, okay. I can show you the picture. That's easier um but there it is in the picture see it's stuck so if this was a monitor um you would stick it on here on the side of it and then you'd have this whole area for you to put sticky notes on or whatever um i think that's all you can put on there it's um nice um it is 11 inches by 3.1 inches they said as multiple uses, you can put it on your, um, you know, you could stick this next to your computer like they showed you. Uh, you could put it on your makeup mirror if you wanted maybe, you know, tomorrow I want to wear this or here's a great idea for makeup, whatever. Um, they said put it on a cabinet. I don't think I'd do that. But um, underneath a shelf, if you wanted to write something on there, that's kind of weird. Um, you could probably put it on the side of your fridge if you wanted to write notes on the side of your fridge. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool. So you just stick it on there. Uh, it's a two-piece two piece set. There's not two pieces in here. I don't know why it's saying two-piece set. It is now $2.60. Um, it is strong adhesive, sticky notes. You can also do um, writing on here and erase it. It says um, simple and practical, blah, 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 blah. Here's, here they are on, on a computer. So see them sticking on both sides and they just wrote on it and sticky notes. So I think that's that's great. I can put little notes up at work of things I, I need to remember or whatever. Stop. Oh my gosh, I'm having a day. Uh, anyway, so yeah, and it's really pretty when you take this off. Like, yeah, don't worry about it being like that. It's going to be perfectly clear on there. And then what does this say? Get rid of messy sticky notes when working. The post-it notes or labels are disorderly and have no place to put them. Here's your solution. Doesn't say that. Uh, this transparent message board of computer post-it notes can make your work smoother Uh and stick it on the side of the computer to remind you of your work and improve efficiency. Remove the double-sided adhesive backing paper, glue it to the side of the monitor, and press. So there you go. Wouldn't be good for a laptop because what are you going to do with it when you close the laptop? But your monitors, you could stick it on there. So there you go. So it's in English. So that will go to work with me. Oh my gosh, those plants will not. Can you imagine being in my little office and then, oh my gosh, have that smell in there? Especially if I had to close the door. I'd be like, they'd just find me and they're like, what killed her? Timu plant. Great. How humiliating. Um, anyway, the next one is, of course, a piece of jewelry. Um, <laughs> you know me, right? So, stop showing me pictures. Go back. Um, it's a br braided wrap bracelet um, with cording on it, and it was $2.79 when I purchased it. It is now $3.98. Um, it comes in a multitude of colors. Let me see the blue. Yeah, I got the blue, black, pink, white, khaki, red, green, and silver. So, I got the blue. 
So it comes in here. I don't know why it has these little, <laughs> it's got these little sticky little things where you can hang it up by little sticky pads. Weird. It's just, this is a weird haul, right? Just weird things are happening. I'm like getting a headache from that stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to call in sick. Why? I opened the tea boom bag. Yeah, I don't think that would go over. Um, this is one of those magnetic ones, too, but I just thought it was so pretty. And look at that little cool stone in the middle with the little bling bling. And then it's got the different cords on it. There's your clasp. There's the other end of your clasp. All of these are like little individual cords. And then you just, voila. So easy to put on. Now, will it fit on my wrist? Which are not the littlest wrists in the world. I'm probably not going to be able to do this either. It's just where this video is going. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, it fits. It's a little tight, but it fits. Well, I got three bracelets on. But anyway, there you go. How cute is that? That is adorable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Off for now. Off for now. You must come off. Oh my goodness, this is my day. Holy guacamole. Um, okay, I just pinched it together. I tell ya, I'm glad I'm done driving for the day or climbing stairs or, you know, I just, wow. I'm blaming it all on the plant, okay? Is that a, okay, it's, it's woo. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, last but certainly not least, I hope. Um, is that it? Yep, that's it. Um, so you can buy this in one piece, two piece, or three pieces. I got it for $2.89. I got the one piece. Um, and it's a hat holder because I have my hats right now in my entry closet. Um, and I have like one of those over the door hangers, but then it only holds so many hats and I'd rather have it hold coats. So I saw this and I thought I'll try it. So you need a hanger for it. And then it just comes in a band like this. Like this, okay. So you've got all these cool hat hangers on there and you just squeeze them. So squeeze it open like that, stick your hat on there. Stick your hat on there, and <laughs> then you have all your hats hanging, and they'll all hang this way if you hang them, you know, by the top of the hat or whatever, they'll all hang next to each other. And it holds a bunch. It holds <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hats for a little hanger. So you can buy them in a set of one, which is this, set of two, and a set of three. The set of one right now is three forty-seven. Um the set of two is six ninety seven, and the set of three is nine seventy seven. Um, get out of here. So, okay, I'll show you the picture on how it works. But it's Velcro. Okay, so you open it up. You put your hanger in here. You put your hanger, <laughs> the bottom of your hanger, in there. And then you Velcro it back, and then the hanger, and you just hang the hanger up, and then all your little hats are hanging. You could use this for anything. You could hang hats on there. You could put this in in your pantry or something if you had a way to hang it, um, and put like spice packets on it. You could put dog leashes and stuff on there if you have more than one. Any kind of use for that. So I'm pleased with that. So let me show you. There we go. So, see how it just hooks onto the hanger, and then all your hats just line up like that so you can see them easily um, in there. And they also said you could hang, look at that, you could hang socks. Is that like, you know, they got socks hanging, and bags, and the dog leash. And, yeah, you can just do whatever you want on there. Yo, that's a cool idea, too. You could hang items, smaller items, in your laundry room. On that maybe if you're drying them or whatever just hang them on that thing you could hang a whole bunch together that's a great idea especially for me I like to <coughs> I like to breathe um, I like to hang um, my clothes 
almost all of my clothes except like underwear and towels and that kind of stuff. Um, but I like to hang dry them and I can't really hang dry them outside. They don't want laundry like hanging outside. Um, so I just hang it around the house and it's kind of nice because then the house smells like whatever laundry detergent you use, like just nice fresh smell in your house when I'm hanging them there. Adds a little moisture to the air and so I like it. Um, but yeah, I could hang, you know, if I had a bunch of, um, say cami tops, you know, camis or, you know, uh, sleeveless exercise outfits, any kind of thing, I could hang a whole bunch of them there on one hanger. And them all like hanging there and drying even if I use just every other one so they didn't touch or anything you know it'd be kind of a cool idea too I mainly got it for hats to empty the hats off of the over the door hanger in my entryway closet so that I could see them easier and they'd be out of the way okay that is it for my Timu haul but but I have other news so one of my I'm gonna try and go to this site one of my amazing, amazing, not that you're all not amazing, but you are all amazing, so, but one of my amazing people um, knew that I kept getting asked, let me, let me spell it, I want Jeopardy music. I couldn't play it on here, I'd get in trouble, but I don't want Jeopardy music when I'm like doing something so you guys don't have to just sit there going, oh, God, she's boring. Um, anyway, <laughs> not that you'd say that, right? Yeah, well, you probably could. Okay, so anyway, she researched for me on the ring that she knew I got a lot of questions about because I only thought you could buy it through QVC or HSN like I bought it. I can't remember which one I got it on. Um, and so I kept telling people I can't give you a link to it or any information on it because they don't sell it anymore. Well, she researched it and it's actually a company that sells it. So I reached out to the company and don't smell that, Bella. Honey, you'll die. I'm telling you. Leave it alone, baby. Oh my gosh. She's like, what the heck is this? Stop smelling it. Oh my goodness. So, I know she's shaking her, her head like, what the heck was that? Um, anyway. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, squirrel. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. What was I trying to say? Um, okay. So I only thought I could get it on there. So anyway, she, she knew I got a lot of questions about it. And I always like to tell you where I got things. Um, not that you can easily get them. Like, you know, you gotta go on a cruise to get this ring. Uh, but this ring. So uh, whoever of you have asked me and quite a few of you have, asked me where I got that. Oh, look at the sparkle on my hand. Why is my hand sparkling? That's so weird. Uh, anyway, why are you crying? Because that's stinky stuff, I know. Oh, I know. You're just a crybaby. Uh, but anyway, stop looking at my leg. So, um, but anyway, the bell <laughs> tickles. Um, anyway, this ring. So, it's just got like these branches around it. It's 925 sterling. Um, and then it's got my birthstone. And then it's got my initial. Okay? So, she researched it. She found it. Oh, I know what I was saying. I was so rudely interrupted by my beautiful dog. Belle, get out of the bathroom. Um, Bella. Bella. Do you hate when your dog can't hear you when you're trying to yell at her? Yeah, I was calling you silly. So I just came out like, what? What's up? Um, anyway, so I think she's trying to tell me she wants water because she's staring at the toilet and the shower. I know. I will get you your water in just a minute. Um, so anyway, I reached out to them. And I said, I have a YouTube, small YouTube channel, and um, I wear this ring, and I told them which ring, and I'm like, and I love it, and everybody that watches wants to know about this ring, um, and so I thought maybe we could, you know, um, collaborate together, and I could promote your ring for you, and maybe we could, you, know, you could give me a code or something, so I could, really would have liked them too. Maybe give me free things or something. <laughs> Lovely, but no. But they did write back and say, thank you so much for that. Yes, we'd love that. Um, and then they gave me a code. So for you guys, we'll benefit. Mm. Which is all what it's all about, right? So my code is um, DEBS20. So D-E-B-S-2-0. 
Deb's 20. You will get 20% off if you enjoy this ring. Now, I will give you the link. It's down, gonna be down below, uh, but it's called Inspiranza Designs. Um, they have, um, let me see, they have uh, Klarna available, credit card payment, PayPal. They have a special shopping um, payment thing where you can pay for payments on it. I had another note. Um, what does this say? Um, okay, it comes in sizes 5 through 12. You can choose your birthstone, and you can choose an initial or a design to go on the little circle part. It is 925 sterling silver, and it is called the She Shines Ring. So, here's their website. So, it's in Speranza Designs, and you just go to rings, and it's the first one here. And it's called the She Shines Ring. So there it is. And right now it's on sale for $89.99. Um, you get the 20% uh, off if you use my code. Please use my code so they know I wasn't lying. And people who actually wanted the ring and would go over there and get it. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, in sizes, like I said, 5 through 12. What did I say? 5 through, yeah, 5 through 12. You choose your initial. And it's like, yeah, it's all the initials you can choose. You choose your birthstone. You can gold plate it if you want for an extra ten dollars. It's also got an extended three year warranty on it for seven dollars. But I've had no issues with this ring. This ring is awesome. I've had it in the ocean. I've had it in hot tubs. I've had it. I wear it in the shower. I never take it off. I uh, wear it in the shower. Wear it to sleep. Wear it golfing. Um, yeah, I do everything in this ring. So, and I've had no issues with it, and it still looks like it looked when I got it. So it's gorgeous. But yeah, so here's the ring. It's the same. It's the same ring. You did awesome with your research. You helped me out amazingly. And she was like afraid she would offend me by doing that. I'm like, no, thank you so much. I didn't have the time to do the research. I didn't know it was available, so I really didn't even think to do the research. I guess she Google photoed it or something. I don't know. You can comment below. I forget who it was. But you can comment below. I never remember names. It's nothing personal. I just, yeah, my brain can only hold so much. Um, but, um, so if you're watching, you can comment below on how you discovered this because that was awesome. So I think she said something about she Google photoed it or something and then she found it and I'm like, holy guacamole, that's amazing. And yeah, you can choose all of your beautiful birthstones. They're so pretty. There's mine, December. Blue topaz. Yeah. Where's my my grandchildren? January of the boys. Got the beautiful red. My daughter's got a beautiful red. My son's got peridot. My mom's got peridot. My mom and son don't like it. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I, I don't mind. But there's the gold plating. So they'll gold plate your initial if you so desire for the extra money. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. That one's got a heart on it. I know how, I don't know how they got a heart on it. That blue's pretty too. I think that's September. Yeah, there she is just enjoying the ring. I think I, I model better, right? Sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, I love the ring. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful ring. So I'm not getting anything for this. <laughs> so they didn't pay me anything. Dang it. Um, but they did you guys some good by giving you the code Debs20, and it should be up there if I did my proper editing. Um, and you will get 20% off of the ring. Okay, another question. So thank you again. Thank you, thank you for researching it, sending me that link, um, and then giving me the idea of contacting them. So yay. Um, one of you asked, again, I don't remember who, one of you in a comment asked me about the Timu credit. So um, credit, not as in like credit card, but credit as in price adjustment credit or the $5 they give you if your shipment's late or refunds, all those kind of credit, right? So it accumulates it for you. And then when you place your next order, still, still bothering my breathing. <laughs> When you place your next order, it automatically um, applies that credit to your order. And one of you said, what if I don't want to use my credit on this order? Maybe you're saving it up for something or whatever. Um, and so you don't want to use it. You just want to pay 
whatever the price is. And you said you didn't think that was possible. And I, I was like, I'm sure it's possible, but I didn't know how. So I researched it. Um, when you go, you click through, you, you order everything. It's in your cart. You click on your cart. And when you get to the page that says uh, checkout on the top, you know, when it's showing you your totals and your uh, minus your credit, <laughs> baby, um, and all that kind of stuff, and your, you know, your choices for Clarinon, Afterpay, and credit card, all that. Oh, I thought she was going on the bed so you could see her today. Uh, but anyway, she's over there. <laughs> but um, anyway, on that page, not where it's showing you where it's minusing the credit, like where it says, you know, total uh, savings, subtotal, minus credit, tax, all that. Okay, it's, it's above that. It's under checkout up near the top. And then it says credit in your amount. And then there's a little arrow. Okay. Click on that little arrow. It's a, it's a greater than arrow. Do you remember your math? <laughs> or algebra, whatever that was. Um, okay, so you click on that arrow. And that's where you can assign an amount of the credit you want to use on that particular order. So you could, if you had $10, you could choose $5. You can choose all. Um, and if you put zero next to the dollar sign and hit apply, um, it will take none of your credit and it will keep your credit saved on Timu. So that's how you can place an order when you have Timu credit that you don't want to apply to the order that you're making. Okay, so on the checkout screen, go where it says credit dollar amount and then the greater than sign. Click on the greater, click on the greater than sign. It goes to the next page where it says here's how much credit you have and it'll say the full amount in there for you know, what you're using, you can change that amount to any amount up to the, you know, total amount of credit you have. Um, and you can change it to zero if you don't want to use any of that credit. And then hit apply. It'll take you back to the checkout screen. And then make sure that when you get down where it says, you know, subtotal, blah, 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 that no credit is being used. So I, I played with it because I placed an order today. Uh, anyway, so I played with that before I placed the order and I was able to get it to zero and not have it on my order. Um, I wanted it on my order, so I put it back, but that's how you do it. So I hope I answered that question appropriately for you. So I think that was all the questions that I had um, that were waiting for, oops, that were waiting for an answer. Some of you um, have been saying in comments that you can't find my Fishland and Farmland codes that are on my community pay tab. Um, so, again, when you want any information, and if you ask for something, like you can't find it or whatever, I try and add it to this. So, um, right under here, there's a little bit of a um, description line, and then it says more. I think it's like more dot dot dot. Click on that more. It'll bring up a description box, and if, it's, if you can't see all of it, I think there's another more or something you can click and open the box fully. Uh, open it fully, because there's a lot of info in there. So um, it'll have a description of the video. It will have in there um, how to uh, download Timu. If you have never downloaded Timu, please use my link to do that, and that's down in that box. Um, there's a link there. It helps me out. It gets you uh, stuff also. I have an affiliate code. AFI40068. That's down there if you forget it. Um, use that. I think right now it gets you 30% off and then a coupon bundle. I think it was like a hundred dollar coupon bundle or something for new users, unfortunately. Um, try it even though you're not a new user. It probably will say, you know, doesn't apply or whatever, but what the heck, give it a shot. Um, anyway, um, it's got the links to all these items that I just showed you in this haul so if you want to buy the stinky plants and choke then there's a link for it um if you want this beautiful thing to go onto your monitor and help you out at work or in your personal life for things that you need to remember when you're at your computer yay this is a good buy that one this one so, um, <laughs> but yeah, if you want these links to these items, any of the clothes, whatever, it's all below. There's a link to everything. And I put the price, the current price, but that doesn't mean it's the price you're going to get because they fluctuate so much. Um, what else is in there? Let's see. Um, oh, my fish land, my farmland code is where I started this. Um, I now have put in the description box for you that have trouble finding it. 
it's now in the description box so it's easy to find um, what you do with that is you just take the little numeric code um, and you go on to Timo and you put it in that top search bar click on that it takes you um, into the Fishland or farmland game whichever code you used and then it links you up with me so that I get extra fish food I think you do too I think that's how it works um, but anyway so it helps me out in the game and I think it helps you out too and we can win free stuff and who doesn't want free stuff um, I'm, I got I'm down to my last fish he's at like 30 something percent and he's down to feeding 0.01 percent yay so it's gonna take me a little bit but uh, i'm gonna finish that one soon and then um and you can do it you can do it without placing orders um it's just gonna take you a long time um farmland i'm like three cents away but it's just oh my gosh that game is so slow i've only won it once and i've won Fishland three times already and i'm almost on my fourth and farmland is one yeah so for me that one's harder i don't know why um and then um, there's my fetch code down there, my fetch link or code, whatever, referral code, something um, that helps me out and you out. Fetch is just an app where you, it's a free app. Um, you scan receipts of items you've purchased into it, gives you points, and then you use your points to get gift cards or merchandise or whatever for free. So that's a fun app. I like it. My dad learned about me having that app and using it and so when we get together on the weekend for movies my mom and dad um he'll bring an envelope full of receipts <laughs> so he's like here you go and then i just scan all his receipts in there and i get all the points he doesn't want to do it so he brings them for me so i, I just love that but um one time he brought me so many that the app actually said you've entered too many for this week you must wait seven days so <laughs> wait ten or more um and you have a time limit for entering them they can't be more than i think 14 days old uh but it's so easy it just it scans you just hold your receipt up you click the button that says scan it takes a picture you move the little picture into the circle and boom you get your points um i'm up to i don't know thirty thousand something points so i'm just accumulating it so i can get the best gift card at the time when i need it um what else is in there my ebay store is in there mercari poshmark whatever it's all in there um my business emails down there i think that's about it <laughs> so anyway uh yeah check that box out and and not just for me we all all YouTubers, um, the majority of YouTubers uh, use that description box to put all kinds of information in there for you guys. So take advantage of that. Check them all. At any time you watch a new YouTuber or whatever, check out that description box. See if there's any inf information in there that would be of value to you or maybe maybe some codes, maybe some discount codes. Like my discount codes will be down there. Um, the link to the ring will be down there and my Debs20 code will be down there to remind you um yeah all that kind of stuff is down in that box and then um other business of course have to do my business um i'm not as cool as adrian i don't have a little sign behind me that says all the things that i would love for you to do for me <laughs> so cool she has that but if i had it it would be so far back there you wouldn't read it oh look bella touched my bed and one of my one of my dollar tree decorations fell down boom anyway they gotta go today anyway um but uh Oh, hit the like button. And when we say like button, it's the little thumbs up right under here. Just hit that for me. That helps me out greatly with YouTube and Timu. Um, and then, of course, your comments. I love and adore. And um, your, uh, you know, subscribe. Of course, a subscribe helps me immensely. And then if you could share it, you know, if you so feel inclined to share it with others to help increase my numbers, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. And if you have a channel, let me know below so I can check it out. I don't have much time for watching as I used to when I wasn't employed. <laughs> um, but I try to get it in uh, whenever I can. And, uh, you know, between my Xbox, um, Steam Bot World addiction, Steam World, Steam Bot World, something like that. Uh, I have an addiction to it. Uh, I blame my son. He bought me the Xbox and the game. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Nick. But thanks, Nick. Because I love it. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> between that and watching some Netflix and watching YouTube, and I'm only, you know, I only have this much time now since I don't get home until 7, and then you got to go to bed, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that is, the, what is this? Is this another tea bag? Y'all, I got this stuff. No, what is this? 
Oh, it is another Timu bag. Not in a Timu bag, though. Interesting. I forget. Um, it'll be another video. But anyway, <laughs> so, yeah. And then, you know, when I come home and make a 54-minute video or something, there's an hour now we're talking. It's, you know, 8 o'clock at night. And so, yeah, I don't have much time to watch. But um, if you do have a channel and um, you, you, I'd love to check it out. So let me know below. Um, I also have a couple channels down below that I love to recommend. Um They've called, two of them have called me out, I think, or maybe you all have called me out. I think maybe you all called me out uh, on, on their channel. So that's so sweet. So I want to call them out on mine. Um, three of my tops are, hey, everybody, everybody knows her. So I really don't have to recommend her because she's got thousands and thousands of subscribers. <laughs> Do you hear a hint of jealousy? <laughs> uh, but she's awesome. And um, the favorites with Laura, she's amazing too. And she's got a lot of, a lot of viewers, a lot of subscribers. So she's doing quite wonderfully. She's awesome. Such a sweetheart. Um, and then Adrian, who I adore. Adrian's been with me forever. Right, Adrian? Uh, it just seems like forever. But um, you've been with me a long time and I thoroughly enjoy watching your videos. You're just such a, just such an awesome person. Um, and I love your, your freeness and your just, she's just, so she's just so her I mean she's just so cool <laughs> she's cool she does cool hairdos and cool makeup and she finds the greatest big flashy jewelry and I love that and just I just adore her so um her and you know um yeah her family I, I get to hear about her family and yeah her grandpa and all kinds of things so she's awesome too um and I'm and there's there's some others, but I haven't watched them in so long that I'm like, oh my gosh, who are those people again? But the three of y'all I do watch. Um, anyway, so they're down below. Their their little um, uh, YouTube names are in that description box. So if you want to go check them out, I'm sure they'd appreciate it if you haven't already. And for those of you that came over from Hey Everybody because she called me out not once, two different videos. Um... <laughs> I was like, oh my God, she called me out. I was so excited. I was like on a, like on a high for, you know, days. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. It's like you watch it. I know they're just people because I'm just a people. I'm, I'm nobody. Um, but, you know, you watch them and I'm like, oh, they're my YouTube stars. And, oh my gosh, my YouTube stars have my name. So it's just <laughs> It's a weird concept, but it's, it's, it's cool. Um, but anyway, so um, when she did that, a bunch of you came over and some of you stayed and I thoroughly enjoy that and I'm so grateful for her for doing that I'm so grateful you came and stayed um and then I got such amazing comment oh speaking of her there's a notification on my phone right now saying she just put out another video <laughs> so <laughs> notifications are nice um if you don't mind being bothered but um I just want to tell you all thank you thank you so much um for the video that I did um, where I had like a little speech about how special we all are and how we should treat ourselves at the end of it. I got such amazing comments on that and um, just people saying, you know, I just needed to hear what you said at that moment in time or um, people were saying, no, you helped me get through this or you helped me get through that and that's just like, oh my God. Um, it gives my life purpose, you know? You, you know, you, you kind of get older and you start thinking, I make an impression on the world. I mean, yeah, I, I gave the world my children and the world should be eternally grateful. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, and you make an impact on your family and you make an impact on different people as you come and go. Um, I don't have a friend crowd or anything, so not a big impression there. Um, I don't have a significant other, so no impression there. Um, but to know, you know, like, I think that, like, you know, did I do any good in the world? Did I do anything good for anyone? Did I change anyone's life even in like a millimeter of a way? Um, yeah, was was there a meaning to my life? And, and, and to find it not only in family, you know, like you expect your family hopefully to remember you and talk about you. <laughs> like I still talk about my great grandmother um, and my grandma and all the, all those people um, and I keep them alive that way. But so that's just, that should happen, right? Uh, favorites with Laura, just put on a video. I just got a notification. <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, they heard me. Um, Adrian, where's your notification? 
<laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> it's so weird. But, um, but to, you know, think that did I make any kind of a difference in a quote unquote stranger's life, you know, like somebody that's not family. Um, and you guys have let me know that I did. And, and that's just so important. It's like to know, you know, I, I, my life had some meaning to it as far as, you know, did I, did I serve others? Did I, you know, help others? Did I make the world a better place even a little? And so those comments mean a whole lot to me. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then even after, um, my drive with me to work on Valentine's morning, this morning, um, I put out, not this morning for you, this morning for me, I put out a video while I was driving to work and um, just saying how, you know, I want to change, you probably saw it already, but the, how I want to change Valentine's Day from, you know, the quote unquote romantic, oh, you know, you're so romantically loved and your love brought you flowers and took you to dinner and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and a lot of us don't have that. And so I wanted to change it to just love right? I love my dog. I love my dog so much. Um, I love my kids, my grandkids, my family. Um, I just love my job. I love just all these things that I love. I love having this blue color in my life. Um, something, you know, whatever, find something. But um, I got a great, great bunch of comments out of that too. So um, a lot of you were saying, yeah, I'm there too. I don't never been someone's, you know, special, special Valentine or anything. And, uh, and yeah, and some of us are holding on to our pets like, oh, I love you, I love you so much, my pets. And um, one of you said, the heck with Valentine's Day. And I get that too. <laughs> I totally get that. Because um, I felt like that for quite a few years. Like, why do we even have this stupid, stupid day? And the only thing I like it about it are those stupid candy hearts. I don't know why I like those. You know the little ones that have the little sayings on them? Yeah. Those, I don't know why I like them, but I, I do like them. I like the bigger ones, the softer, bigger ones. Anyway, I digress, as usual. Uh, but um, <laughs> so I'm with you on that one. I understand totally. <laughs> totally. And then the girls at work were saying, you know, it should be, you know, gallon, what is the, a new thing, gallon times day where, you know, single women or whatever, they get together and they have a day with just each other. And uh, why can't you buy yourself candy or flowers or something on this day or treat yourself special, which you should do every day anyway. But because, you know, you gotta. Um, anyway, so I just want to say the comments mean a lot to me. I know I say that a lot, but I really want you to know that they do. Um, and I do read them, as you can tell by my comments. So thank you for the wonderful response on those two videos. I wasn't sure how they'd go over <laughs> but I know you guys and I and I love you guys but it's still that little suspicion like what if they don't like this video but um I need to put it out there I need to say what I need to say and hopefully somebody watches and likes it um and even if nobody watched I still need to say these things and my dog can only listen to so much of my jamboree <laughs> before she leaves the room and goes in the bedroom and sits on my bed and ignores me okay so i'm gonna let you guys go because it's about an hour and i'm tired and i want to make a chocolatey drink so i'm making one kind of like my mocha magic drink um but no coffee this late so i just take a little bit of coconut milk um a little bit of chocolate i'll either use cacao powder or I'll use a little hershey chocolate i know the sugar but what the heck so i'll use that um ice cubes in there um and then my flavored um coffee creamer even though there's no coffee in it i'll use that like either a salted caramel or a chocolate or something and then i'll mix it up in the nature blend till it's this slushy kind of shake almost but not that thick it's like a slushy and i drink that and that's my treat for the evening to make me not eat all night hi beautiful she's back yo back nobody got to see you can you come up on the bed What's this? What's this, Bella? You're not falling for it? I've done this too many times. Come on, up, up. <laughs> She's so stubborn. Where is she? Hello, Miss Bella. Miss Bella. Miss Bella. Where are you? <laughs> Say hello. No, don't look at my face. <laughs> She's not very cooperative. She's like, I don't care about the camera. I want my dinner and I want my water. And I got it. And we will go get it. I love you, puppy. So, okay, guys. Um, again, thanks so much for all you do for me. And um, I'm glad I could do even a little bit for a little bit of you. So, um, yeah, I treasure it. Okay, guys. I'm going to go now and chill out. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye. Mwah. Love you guys.